Welcome back to the channel SciTechGuru. In this video, I'll do the Anna Pitchmark test comparison between the IQ Z3 versus the Moto H20 device. The IQ Z3 has got the Snapdragon 768G processor and the Moto H20 has got the Snapdragon 778G processor. Let's see how much different we can actually expect between these both phones in terms of the CPU and the GPU comparisons. And this is going to be really very very interesting friends and this is my first time doing this both phones side by side in terms of the Anna Pitchmark test results. Let's see how much difference we can actually expect in, and how much high temperatures also which phone will increase that's another thing and right now my room temperature is only 29.1 degrees that's it it's only 29.1 degrees you can clearly see and it's exactly accurate as the thermometer so there's there should not be any kind of issues at this moment and i need to clean everything from the background so there's no apps or nothing at all running in the background ram management so let me try to disable the wi-fi connection so both phones there's no wi-fi connection at this moment nothing everything is completely disabled and let's open the under benchmark test and start doing the test i'm trying to keep the both phones as a brightness kind of close to 70 percentage similar kind of brightness and let's check the temperatures in the beginning it's of 31.5 and 31.8 so same kind of temperatures in the beginning absolutely same and right now we'll be finding out friends which phone increases how much kind of high temperatures so this is going to be really very very interesting test as i said so we'll get to know the battery draining we'll get to know the temperatures how much is increasing and how much difference is there between both phones in terms of the cpu and the gpu because very soon the iq z5 also going to get launched and that also will be having the similar kind of processor so you should be able to figure out by the time it get launched you should know complete details about this processor 778g so again i'll be back once after the complete android benchmark test has been completed then we can actually discuss the results side by side what is happening as well so right now as you can clearly see friends the moto h20 and the iq z device both phones are slightly coming close to the end of the results and the temperature is slightly higher in the iq z3 then the Moto H20. No, it's kind of similar. Yes, it's very similar as you can see. Exactly same. Nothing much huge difference, friends. Not a huge difference at this point. Not bad. So both phones were behaving kind of really good in terms of the temperatures wise. But what about the Android benchmark score? How much? How they are behaving in that? That's what I'm going to exactly show you after a couple of minutes of finishing this test. Then we'll be able to understand a little bit kind of better. So finally we got the under benchmark test results between both phones and the Moto H20 scored about 5,23,000 and the IQ Z3 scored 4,39,000. So all there's a difference of close to 90,000 differences there between both phones and one thing is that if you try to observe the temperatures only 1 degree increased <laughs> according to this results and 3.3 .3 degrees increase in the IQ Z3. It's kind of uh, as you can see good to see friends the s yes, the moto h20 has got really less temperatures whenever i try to use as well i did not feel much kind of heat in this uh, moto h20 that's the one thing and the cpu and the gpu you can clearly compare between both phones not bad so 1 lakh 58000 1 lakh 23000 1 lakh 15 and 1 lakh 59000 in terms of the cpu and the gpu you can clearly see here so well, this is a quick comparison between both phones and the memory is slightly higher points in the iQ Z3 84,000 versus 78,000. So meanwhile signing off friends and don't forget to check the links in description for more videos as well. Meanwhile, bye.